Sweden might not be the first name that comes to your mind when you think of military powerhouses. It's a country with a population smaller than many of the world's big cities. Yet this small nation has created an aircraft so impressive that it has left the larger powers stunned. This isn't a sixth or fifth generation fighter, but it's just as thrilling. It's about to defy physics once more. And in this video, you'll learn how it does just that. Get ready to learn about these new rules of the sky, brought to you by Sweden's Exceptional Engineering, the Saab JAS-39. The Saab JAS-39 Gripen, a multi-role fighter aircraft, was developed by the Swedish aerospace company Saab. Its development was initiated in 1979, with the primary goal of replacing the aging Draken and Vegan fighters in the Swedish Air Force. The acronym JAS stands for Jacked, Air to Air, Attack, Air to Surface, and Spanning, Reconnaissance, underscoring the aircraft's versatility in performing a broad range of missions. The inception of the Gripen program was driven by Sweden's need for an affordable Mach 2 aircraft with good short field performance. This requirement was a part of a defensive strategy that included operating from 2,625 feet long by 55.8 feet wide rudimentary runways, part of the BAS-90 system, in the event of an invasion. One of the key design goals was for the aircraft to be smaller than the Vegan, while maintaining or surpassing its payload range characteristics. Saab's design proposal for the Gripen was based on achieving a balance between performance, cost, and maintainability. The aircraft features a delta wing and canard configuration, enhancing its aerodynamic efficiency and enabling superior agility and shorter takeoff and landing distances. The design incorporates advanced avionics and electronic warfare systems, making it one of the most modern fighters of its generation. Its modern design allows for easier upgrades and maintenance, and the engine, a Volvo Aero RM12, is a derivative of General Electric's F404. The development of the Gripen encountered challenges, including a crash during an early flight test, but these experiences informed subsequent improvements. The Gripen met the stringent requirements of the Swedish Air Force and was successfully marketed to various countries. The aircraft's versatility and ability to fulfill multiple roles effectively eliminated the need for specialized aircraft for different missions, making it a significant achievement in military aviation. In 2016, Saab decided to redesign and develop the old Gripen. This major redesign, initially referred to as Gripen NG or Next Generation or Super JAS, commenced with deliveries to the Swedish Air Force and Brazilian Air Force in 2019. This program was necessary to meet the evolving demands of modern aerial combat and to maintain the aircraft's competitiveness on the international market. This single-engine multi-role fighter is renowned for its exceptional agility, maneuverability, and advanced avionics, setting it apart in the realm of modern combat aircraft. A critical feature of the Gripen E is its aerodynamic design, characterized by a cropped delta wing and canard configuration. The delta wing's sharply swept leading edges minimize drag at supersonic speeds, ensuring high-speed performance and stability. The canards, or small foreplanes, located ahead of the main wing, significantly enhance the aircraft's lift generation and maneuverability at lower speeds. This feature is particularly beneficial during takeoff and landing phases. The design also leverages vortex lift generation. The sharp edges of the delta wing generate vortices, swirling air masses that contribute to increased lift at high angles of attack. This enables the Gripen E to execute tight turns and aggressive maneuvers without compromising altitude. Another notable aspect is its relaxed static stability. The slightly unstable design necessitates constant pilot input for stable flight, but translates into exceptional agility and responsiveness to control inputs. The Gripen E also incorporates internal weapons carriage, aligning with its sleek design to reduce drag. This feature enhances its radar stealth and overall combat effectiveness. The new Swedish fighter has an advanced avionics system, and it is crucial for enhanced capabilities. It includes the Gripen Electronic Warfare System, or GEWS, for comprehensive situational awareness and countermeasures against enemy radar and electronic warfare. The Link 16 Tactical Data Link System enables real-time information sharing with other Link 16-equipped platforms 
enhancing coordinated attacks and overall mission effectiveness. The Multifunction Data Distribution System, or MDDDS, efficiently distributes critical data throughout the aircraft, ensuring smooth operation of all systems and weapons. The aircraft features a Galileo Active Electronically Scanned Array, or AESA, radar, which offers exceptional detection and tracking capabilities against various targets, including stealthy aircraft and drones. The radar's ability to electronically scan allows for rapid beam switching, providing superior situational awareness. The Infrared Search and Track, or IRST, system adds an extra layer of detection capability, especially in environments where radar use is compromised. The Gripen-E is also equipped with Advanced Electronic Countermeasures, or ECM, to deceive and confuse enemy radars and missiles, enhancing its survivability. The integration of sensor data from various systems creates a comprehensive tactical picture, aiding the pilot in making quick, informed decisions. The cockpit features a large area display and a helmet-mounted display, providing vital flight and targeting information directly to the pilot's visor, crucial during high-G maneuvers. Additionally, the incorporation of voice control for certain functions reduces pilot workload and improves situational awareness. What about its speed and range? While its maximum speed of Mach 1.1, or 833 miles per hour, might not be the highest among contemporary fighters, the emphasis is on maintaining this speed over extended periods, which is more tactically valuable in combat scenarios. This allows for faster intercepts, dominance in dogfights, and effective evasion or repositioning when needed. Regarding its range, the Gripen E can cover over 875 miles on internal fuel, a significant distance for various mission types. This range is particularly useful for deep penetration strikes or extended patrols. For missions requiring further reach, the range can be extended significantly with the addition of external fuel tanks. And this fighter, with its impressive flight characteristics, is a lethal package in diverse missions, excelling in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat, as well as in reconnaissance roles. It has a payload capacity of up to 15,432 pounds. The star of its air-to-air -air arsenal is the Meteor BVR AAM, a beyond visual range missile with a unique ramjet engine, offering unparalleled range and lethality. This missile allows it to engage and eliminate enemy aircraft from over 100 kilometers away, often before they are aware of its presence. For close-range engagements, the Gripen E is equipped with the Iris T and AIM 9X Sidewinder missiles, designed for high off bore site dogfighting. These agile, short-range missiles ensure that it maintains superiority in quick, close quarters combat situations, where swift decisions and precise maneuvering are key to victory. In air-to-ground missions, the Gripen E's arsenal includes the Joint Direct Attack Munition, or JDAM, and GBU-49 Paveway both of which are designed for precision strikes. The JDAM can deliver pinpoint strikes with laser or GPS guidance, effectively eliminating enemy structures and vehicles, while the GBU-49 Paveway, an electro-optically guided bomb, is ideal for destroying high-value targets with devastating accuracy. When compared to its current generation counterparts like the F-35 Lightning II, Eurofighter Typhoon, and the Dassault Rafale, the Gripen E distinctively showcases its strengths in efficiency, adaptability, and strategic value. One of the most notable aspects of this jet is its cost effectiveness and efficiency. In contrast to the more expensive models such as the F-35, the Gripen E is recognized for its lower operational and maintenance costs. The aircraft's prudent fuel usage and reduced maintenance demands further amplify its appeal in markets sensitive to budget constraints. In the arena of avionics and adaptability, it stands on par with the best. Equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar and state-of-the-art electronic warfare systems, it competes head-on with the F-35 and Eurofighter Typhoon. When it comes to performance and maneuverability, the Swedish one is no slouch. Although the F-35 is lauded for its stealth features and the Eurofighter for its speed and high-altitude capabilities, the JAS-39 excels with its superior maneuverability and short takeoff and landing prowess, rendering it highly effective in a variety of combat scenarios. From a strategic standpoint, it holds considerable importance. Its compatibility with NATO systems, combined with Sweden's traditionally non-aligned stance, 
renders it an attractive choice for countries looking to maintain a balance in their international alliances. In a potential war scenario with a top speed of 833.38 miles per hour, this jet can swiftly reach hotspots in Europe. It could be deployed rapidly from Sweden, reaching the area within minutes to provide critical air support or engage in air superiority missions. Also, in a conflict involving disputed airspace over the Baltic Sea, the Gripen E could use its meteors for long-range engagements against intruding aircraft. Simultaneously, its Iris T missiles would be ideal for closer dogfights. In a ground attack role, if tasked to neutralize enemy defenses along the Polish border, the jet could employ JDAMs for precise, high-impact strikes against fortified positions or armored columns, minimizing collateral damage. During a NATO-led mission in Eastern Europe, this fighter could jam enemy radars and networks, shielding allied forces and opening offensive opportunities. The jet's advanced sensors are significant for reconnaissance, especially in sensitive areas like the Russian border. Covert surveillance missions would benefit from its ability to gather and relay real-time intelligence influencing tactical decisions. Of course, these are just scenarios, and we hope they never happen. But if they do, to ensure you don't miss any details about the war, follow and subscribe to us, and we'll see you in the next video.